Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to unroot, relock, and unbrick your Google Nexus 7 tablet uh, using Wokefresh's Nexus Root Toolkit. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. The first thing you want to do is make sure that a USB debugging is plugged in, is turned on on your device. So we will go to Developer Options and we'll make sure that that is checked. And then we'll open up the Wokefresh Toolkit and plug in our device. So this is going to wipe everything. You want to make sure that everything is backed up before you get started with this or you may not be happy with me uh, if you just continue on. So be sure everything's backed up. All your front facing pictures and all that good stuff. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is flash dock and unroot. Very simple. So if you guys can't see, I'll get in here. I mean this just makes everything super super easy. So you're just going to follow the on-screen guide uh, to flash dock and unroot. Uh, when you install this, you will just choose your device. There's several devices that covers any Nexus device on the market. Uh, mine is the Nexus 7 with 4.1.1, so we'll go to flash dock and unroot. Since the script is designed to help you restore your device back to stock, please note that the procedure will completely wipe your device, so make sure to back up all of your important data first. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Um, automatically download and extract the factory image. If you already have it, you won't have to do that. You could actually browse, but we're going to do this version. Select OK. So that's going to begin the process. Uh, downloading the file may take a while, so here I'm going to pause. Okay, so when it finishes downloading, it's going to continue uh, with relocking your bootloader and setting you back to factory settings. Uh, the download took me about 15 minutes, but I'm on a very slow DSL connection. This is running off of Wogfresh's personal server, so I imagine that it would actually go pretty quickly for you if you had a faster connection than I have. I've got 3 megabytes down, uh, so that is why it took so long for myself. So it's rebooting your device into bootloader mode, and it did do that. Okay, checking fast boot status, it just kind of does everything automatically. Okay, flashing stock will factory reset your device. Make sure to back up important data first. Uh, so we'll click OK to, to proceed. So you can see the process that it's running through now. It says it's rebooting into bootloader, which it did. So it's just kind of running through the process restoring the entire system so through this entire process you want to make sure that you don't unplug the cable and also be sure that you have plenty of battery with your device you wouldn't want it to uh, quit on you through the process this uh, system process the system is the biggest part of the file that's why it's taking so long okay it said that it was finished uh, flashing the system we press any key to exit so that's what we'll do so assuming the operation you just performed was successful, you should change your model type back to 4.1 in the settings. Uh, or, of course, you can go into system updates and update your system to 4.1.1 or whatever. Uh, so we'll go to OK. And the next thing we want to do is lock the device because we're still not locked. Uh, so as you see, it's booting up and it is still locked. Uh, so we'll kind of just let this boot up. It's going to take a minute because it was completely erased. So it's like it's booting up for the first time. So just kind of let it do its thing. It's set to change it. Okay, we'll change it to 4.1 here. Because now we're back on 4.1. So we'll go to Nexus 7 Tablet, 4.1, and apply that. Okay. Okay, so we're all booted back up. I want to go on the device... Okay, so now we want to go into settings and make sure that USB debugging is checked. So go to developer options, turn those on, select USB debugging, and select OK. And now we'll go back to our computer and we'll click OEM lock. Okay, it says uh, use, use the flash dock plus unroot button. So we did that already, so now we're just going to click OK and it's checking ADB status. Device connected. It's just going to run through the process automatically. And it's rebooting the device into bootloader, which is what it did. Checking fast boot status. Device connected. Okay. 
So now it's going to lock the OEM on the device as you guys can see that's what it's doing now. It says lock now and that's finished. It says your device should be relocked. Uh, so look at the Google Boot screen while it boots back up. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And now it's rebooting the device. And we shouldn't have the lock screen. So now we are unrooted, relocked, and we're back to factory settings. Guys, that's how you unbrick your device. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, check out the link in the description for all the necessary download files. Be sure to follow me at DroidMonterX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Nexus 7 and other devices. We'll also be giving one of these away very soon within the coming weeks. Follow me on Twitter at DroidMonterX. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.